What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So I want to address a few things in today's video. First off, I want to address the fourth stimulus check, where we are, the talks on that, what we are seeing at this time, and I also want to dive into some rumors that we're going to be seeing a check in the next couple of days. Also, we need to address what Nancy Pelosi said the other day. This is gonna play a major role as to how progressives and Democrats negotiate the $3.5 trillion stimulus package. And I also wanna dive into what President Biden said the other day as well regarding vaccines. So first off, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. Hopefully your weekend is going great so far. If you can do me a favor, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily uploads. Also consider subscribing so you never miss an update. But let's get into the update for today. First, are we going to see a stimulus check in the next couple of days? There are, yes, there are people that will be getting a stimulus check within the next few days. Let me address who. First, teachers, okay, educators in multiple states will be getting a somewhat of a thank you check up to $1,000, okay? So yes, this is, this is according to many uh, mainstream media, this is considered a stimulus check, which essentially it is. However, not everybody is going to be receiving it. It is just going to go to educators in certain states, for example, Florida. Also, just to keep this in mind, yes, we are getting a lot more talks of additional stimulus checks. These are coming from states like California, this Golden State uh, stimulus, okay? That $600 check, that is coming out, okay? So yes, these checks are coming out, and I've been hearing this all over the news, I see this all over here on the channel, that hey, I, I heard we're getting a stimulus check in a couple of days, is this true? And it depends on where you're from, it depends on what your income uh, was last year, so there's a lot of variables here. However, yes, there are stimulus checks that are currently going out, hopefully you'll be getting one of those, if not, just hold tight, we could be seeing something from the federal level. But let's break that down as well. And I'm gonna get into what Nancy Pelosi said in just a minute. Will we be getting a federal stimulus check for $1,000, $600, $1,200, $2,000? It doesn't matter. Let's just talk about are we gonna get a check? Here's what we know. I currently believe, based off of doing all the research that I've done and looking into a lot of what other people are saying as well, I believe we will see additional stimulus. But note, I did not say an additional stimulus check. I do believe we are going to get additional stimulus. Many experts, I'm not an expert, I'm just a guy on YouTube doing these up updates for you guys. But many experts believe we will see the stimulus check, and I said this to you months ago, now experts are really pushing this, saying that yes, this is gonna happen. I believe, and many experts believe as well, we are going to see a stimulus check turn into another form of payment. This could be a, an adult tax credit, which we kind of heard about uh, just the other day. This could be a larger earned income tax credit, or it could be something just completely different. We don't know. But the key would be that yes, we are going to see more, but the thing that you gotta keep in mind is how divided is the, the Democratic Party. Right now, they're fairly divided. Nancy Pelosi, she had a statement the other day, and from this statement, the, the main thing I want you to take away and what many experts believe is that legislation right now, okay, that contains a large stimulus uh, you know, payment, this could be very tough to pass because this is not considered the first priority for lawmakers. This isn't it. But Nancy Pelosi had this to say, and I, and I want to read this to you because this is very telling as what we're gonna see from the House. Again, the House committees are the ones that are going to craft this bill, put the bill together, write the legislation, and then they will send it over to the Senate once the House passes it. But here's what we know. And Nancy Pelosi said this, we write a bill with the Senate because it's no use doing a bill that is not going to pass the Senate. In the interest of getting things done, results, getting results. That's it. That's what she's saying. She's writing a bill with the Senate. So I can tell you right now, it's because of this statement that many are saying that we may not see a stimulus check. That may not happen. Because if we have to get all 50 Senate Democrats on board, 
it may be impossible to do right now with a large stimulus check. And it doesn't matter if it's $2,000 a monthly check or just a $300 or $600 payment. One-time fee, one-time payment. It may not happen. And this also brings up the question, are progressives gonna get their immigration reform into this bill? Because with this statement, I can tell you the answer is no. It will not happen. We are not gonna see that. So, mainly, the reason why we're not gonna see immigration reform is because right now, providing a pathway to US citizenship wouldn't actually, it wouldn't actually pass through the Senate. It would pass through the House, but the Senate has different rules. And once the Senate parliamentarian looks this over and sees, oh, there's immigration reform, but it doesn't actually affect the federal budget, well, we're gonna pull that out because of the, the reconciliation rules. So the bird rule. So we'll see what happens there. But what I can tell you is yes, there's still a lot of talks of additional stimulus. We are potentially gonna see something. However, it might not be that stimulus check. But again, as I know more, I promise, I will fill you in on all the updates. Now let's get to the update on progressives. Progressives are getting a lot of pushback right now because Democrats say they're trying to overspend. Moderates are worried that Democrats are trying to do too much, and this could hurt the moderates come the midterm election. Well, moderates are also worried that progressives' idea to tax corporations oversee profits, that this isn't going to work. This will not work. And this, and the big worry is they say that this tax increase will be much larger than what most of the other 130 uh, countries or 130 plus countries have agreed upon right now. And this is actually the push from the Biden administration to remake the international tax system. So we could see a, a huge pushback from, from moderates over the next couple of weeks, mainly because of just taxes. But again, as we know more there, I promise I will fill, fill you in on that update as well. Now, here's something else I want to bring to your attention. Right now, President Biden hasn't been too vocal on uh, you know, evictions. He hasn't been extremely vocal on unemployment benefits. We are just one week away. In one week, okay, a little over a week and a day, the, uh, the unemployment benefits are going to expire, okay? That's not great. This means about a little over 6 million people are going to be pretty much have no income. But President Biden hasn't said much about this. Congress, as of right now, according to multiple reports, there's many lawmakers that are proposing different ideas to get more out to the American people. Additional stimulus, yes. Getting more money out for the unemployed, yes. Getting money out to the people that are could potentially be evicted over the coming weeks. But again, these are things that take time. So all I can tell you right now is that lawmakers are looking into multiple different ideas. However, what actually comes out of this, we don't know. But as I know more, I promise I will share more. We also know that President Biden and the, health, the US health officials are considering moving the booster shot for the COVID vaccine. Instead of eight months, they decided let's do it six months. And now they're saying, no, six months is too long. Let's do it every five months. Here's the reason why. Data from an Israeli study shows that a booster dose provides about four times as much protection against the Delta COVID variant. We also know Pfizer this past week, they said that their vaccine provides about three times as much protection as just the two doses. And in some countries like Germany, they are already giving out their booster shots. So some are saying that we are actually falling behind. How can we fall behind when it's supposed to be so important for us to get back to normal? We need to stay on top of these things and there should not be any other country beating us to not just the booster shots, but beating us in the vaccination rates as well. So what I can tell you is this week, we will potentially get more, more details regarding a potential booster shot. According to some, we are supposed to be seeing these booster shots by September 20th. But again, whether that happens or not, I don't know. What I can tell you is we will get more information over the coming weeks. As we do, I will fill you in on those updates. But that's what we know right now. As always, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Again, have an incredible Sunday tomorrow as well. If you can do me a favor and you enjoy these daily uploads, go ahead, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.